Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Sagittarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now, and it is a sky of great promise and great possibility. And it does have some very distinct energies here. It is a month of bold and bright beginnings, that is for sure. And that is because this month will have a rare phenomenon, starting on a new moon and ending on a new moon. And that means that new beginnings are very much a characteristic of this time. However, the nature of the new beginnings are distinct. As we begin the month, We are going to do so on a new moon happening in fellow fire sign Leo. This is energy you're able to use that much more to your advantage simply because it is a fire sign. It's happening close in the sky with Venus as well. Now that in and of itself, right? New moon conjunct Venus. If it was just that, that could be a really nice energy and the niceness is still there, but it's going to take a little bit of time to find us. And that is because at this new moon that happens right around the first of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. Well, it is also speaking in a conversation of tension with Uranus. And that makes for a surprise element, a shock element even. Uh, That makes for an element that uh, can feel as if you have to think very quickly on your feet. There might be a new opportunity, but also mixed feelings around it. And there can also be a sense of you being motivated, uh, feeling challenged, feeling like you've got to do something to move yourself towards the change that you desire. Now, I actually think that this type of conversation can be a blessing if you translate it into action. It's when you take action on behalf of this energy that you are able to transform your circumstances. If you trust your discontent, you are able to move towards a situation or a circumstances that are much more to your liking, but it does involve your effort. Now for you, this is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with your place in the world. It's long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, political matters, all of that is covered here and so for some people this is going to be just a new uh, place that you visit it may be a chance to travel it may be the desire the strong desire to travel but it is going to involve you putting in a little bit of time or a little bit of effort to make it happen the way that you want Uh, for others it may be a time when you start thinking about or considering beginning or initiating a process related to immigration, citizenship, or other legal matters as well. I ideally like to see uh, easier energy for you to actually initiate something like that. But here's the thing, about a week into the month, the energy does transform. And what feels challenging at this new moon will a week later become a space of great hope and great blessings. If it feels like something comes up by surprise that you have to deal with, you will navigate it and you will do just fine. Now, as we navigate to the middle of the month, that is when we are going to have a full moon. Now, this full moon is interesting for a few reasons. One is that it is standing across the sky from Venus and Mars. And this in and of itself uh, does denote a time of some negotiation, Uh, some sense of compromise may be part of this time as well. But also in the days leading up to that full moon, we are going to have two big power players changing directions. Jupiter, your ruling planet will go direct and Uranus, the ruling planet of this full moon will go retrograde. Now it is of course, what is happening around the full moon, the heightened emotion that is going to bring these two energies that much closer to you, uh, that much more of an emotional experience for you. So on the one hand, look, Jupiter going direct, that's just really good for your money. Okay. That is a really nice energy for you feeling as if you are uh, having your money moving forward or that you're starting to create momentum to 
earn more or to feel as if you're able to experience greater prosperity all around. So that is a nice energy. It's a blessing in and of itself to have Jupiter in this part of the sky. But with the change of direction, you start to feel as if you are creating momentum and moving towards more. This full moon though is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with negotiation. It has to do with contracts and documents and uh, talking as well. Communications of all kinds are covered here, as well as siblings, cousins, and neighbors. Now, given the big things that Uranus is doing, Uranus is connected to this full moon as well. And of course, Uranus is moving through a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life and how you live your daily life. And so you put this together and there's this sense around this full moon that, you know, money is getting better, yes. At the same time though, there may be some sense of needing negotiation or needing to understand another person a little bit more. Um, there may be some sense of needing compromise as well in order to reach an agreement with another person or another party. And it may be connected to work. It may be connected to how you're living your day-to-day -day life, maybe the type of work you're doing or the people who surround you there. This energy ultimately is asking you to articulate yourself more clearly, to speak for yourself, but also to cultivate a spirit of reflection, especially where it comes to your daily life and especially where it comes to how it is you are interacting with coworkers, immediate supervisors, clients, and customers. Siblings, cousins, and neighbors are covered here as well, as I mentioned before, and that does suggest that um, it could very well be that one of these particular people has some news for you or has developments going on in their life that they want to share with you that may or may not involve you directly. There might be some mixed feelings on your part about this. There might be some sense that there's something they're not uh, appreciating properly. There may be a sense that you want them to see things from a different perspective. Now, ultimately, people are gonna see things the way that they want. I have seen this again and again. We perceive things in dramatically different ways. And it may not even affect you personally. However, whatever decisions other people are making, you can serve as a sounding board to them. And with Jupiter newly direct, chances are you'll have a very wise perspective. As we move to the end of the month, we have a beautiful new moon. I think that this is the high point of the month for a lot of people out there. This new moon will happen at the very top of your sky, a part of the sky that has to do with career, social standing, life purpose. This is all about new opportunities finding you in big, bold ways. It is this new moon happening at the very top of your sky that suggests surprise opportunities showing up for you that you absolutely love, that empower you, that give you energy, that feel as if they have restored enthusiasm, and just a sense of knowing that you can go for what you want and you can make it happen. And so I say this because this new moon will be happening close in the sky with Mars, with Venus, and with Mercury. When we have so many planets happening right around a new moon, it means that the energy becomes on the one hand concentrated, but on another hand will speak to many areas of life. And it is this new moon that will be speaking in supreme harmony with Uranus. That is energy I'm really very excited about. I feel like this is so hopeful. This is surprises that just show up for you. The last thing you are expecting, but it ends up being truly incredible. A wonderful turn of events that will have you feeling as if you have stumbled upon a lucky break. This is just luck coming to you. And given where it is taking place in the sky, well, any kind of interview or audition situations, chances are they will go very well around this time. And chances are you are gonna be feeling inspired and motivated and excited about what's coming up ahead. Where it comes to matters of love this month, I think the fact that Mercury is going to go direct 
right at the new moon as we start this month well that is one of the strongest symbols for you where it comes to matters of love because mercury is the ruling planet of your opposite sign whatever is happening with mercury is going to speak to what is happening for you in love and as we progress towards the middle of the month in fact the same day as the full moon we are going to have mercury leaving shadow and so i think that this is phenomenal new moon change of directions that in some way is going to be a bit of a moment for you a bit of a wake-up call for you as to what has been and what is going on for you in the context of love but at the same time it is going to be that full moon that ultimately helps you to wrap things up more fully helps you to understand more what has been but put you on ground where you feel like you are moving forward now much of this month will be spent with venus moving through the part of the sky where that new moon takes place in in the early part of the month at the beginning of the month for that matter and so at the same time that you are feeling like love is moving forward for you clarity is being restored there's also a sense of looking at love from a philosophical perspective you'll be particularly lofty when you look at love where you've been and where you are and there's a sense of belief and inspiration that there is love in the world for you if you're open to meeting someone new given where venus is that is very much about the international love which may suit you very well at the same time though with mercury moving forward i feel like this is going to be powerful energy that allows you a deeper understanding a deeper reflection if you will as to where you've been in love and why and where it is now that you're ready to change to move yourself towards the love you desire for those of you who are just starting to date somebody, if you're just getting to know someone, I do feel like Venus is gonna be very helpful to you. It is Venus in the first three weeks of the month that is gonna allow you to feel that much more enthusiastic about this person, uh, feel that much more excited about the things that they share and the way that they see the world. At the same time though, with Mercury moving forward, slowly gaining traction in the first few days uh, before it leaves shadow mid-month, well, that is going to help you to that much more feel as if what you have with this person, first of all, you're able to see it more clearly, which is a big thing. You're able to understand more what is going on, the nature of the dynamic, and if there is any potential here. But the other layer of this is it's very possible you'll feel like things are moving forward together. And for those of you in an established bond, this can be a powerful time as well i think that it is going to be mercury that is very helpful to you as mercury starts gaining momentum in the first days of the month and as mercury moves forward it is going to allow you to feel like you are understanding and knowing your partner more deeply if it has felt as if this mercury retrograde has been affecting your partner's income well that should start to increasingly feel like a thing of the past and if it has felt as if you have wanted greater understanding or greater intimacy with your partner, Mercury moving forward is going to help you in that regard as well. But ultimately, I do think that Venus moving through where Venus is moving through in the first three weeks of the month is going to allow you to feel that much more hopeful and inspired about the future you're creating together. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there is a lot here, of course, but I am going to say that new moon at the end of the month. I think that that is such a beautiful energy that is so inspiring. It is so filled with possibility and promise as well. Wherever it is that you think you've hit a ceiling or wherever it is that you were hoping for some new opportunity for some, even a big breakthrough, well, this is a new moon that will work overtime to bless your life in unexpected ways, something even bigger and better could find you. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.